There's still plenty of room in North Frisia for the deer to play, even if the countryside's bristling with wind turbines. The farmers here started producing energy from renewable sources as long as 20 years ago, and many of them got rich. Reinhard Christiansen produces far more electricity than he can sell. We'd like to supply the local population with electricity so they could benefit from it too. Agriculture has changed here. We have the shadows and noise from the turbines. But if you get electricity so cheaply from the wind farms right close by, that would be some advantage. One advantage local residents do have is green power for electric cars. Energy hardly gets any cleaner, and here electric cars are subsidized. We've been interested in electric vehicles for some time. And in this region, we can lease them at relatively low cost. That gives us the opportunity to try them out for two or three years, to see how it is to drive electric cars on a daily basis. The Kazevskis are regular customers at this quick charging station. It simply takes too long to recharge a car from a home power outlet. It takes hours to charge at normal speed, so that wouldn't work at all. But these quick charging stations can do it in a good half hour. That's doable. Nowhere else in Germany are there as many electric cars per capita as in North Frisia. Wind farmer Reinhard Christiansen drives one too, a Tesla he bought for some 120,000 euros. It accelerates from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in just three seconds. When the turbines are turning, we've got green power in the entire grid, so Schleswig-Holstein can provide its own energy. We produce three times more than what we need, so we have to export it. He makes regular trips to Berlin to see about that export. A grand reception at the German Renewable Energy Federation. The North Frisian wind farmer is a familiar face here. For years, he's been lobbying for the construction of power lines that would carry his wind power to the industrial and population centers of southern Germany. Everyone's aware the southern link is an absolute necessity. He would carry the power we produce here in Schleswig-Holstein and offshore to the south. We could supply some 14 million people with power. That's more than the populations of Schleswig-Holstein and Hamburg put together. Wind farmers like Christiansen are acquiring lots of clout in Germany. The federal government has put billions of euros in subsidies into renewable resources to replace the nuclear power now being phased out. Wind turbines are replacing nuclear reactors. Solar is replacing coal. Just a quarter of a century ago, it was a fanciful vision. Now it's reality. In December 2015, for the first time, wind power overtook lignite coal as Germany's leading energy resource. The goal is to cover over half the country's total energy needs from renewable sources by 2050. We'll get there. Investors finance the wind turbines here and they're willing to put some venture capital into the industry. We'll prove it can be done. And indeed it has been done. Now we have to introduce it to the entire country. The way to do that is to transport green power to southern Germany and increase the number of electric cars. If that happens, the energy reform can succeed as it already has in North Frisia.